Hello, welcome to Prakul Gurkar Education and Channel. Today I have presented a video for the students who have started their new academic year after passing SSE or HSE in science subjects and attending online lectures for life sciences. Today's topic is introduction to the subject microbiology and I will cover information on definition of microbiology, introduction, classification of microorganisms, introduction to bacteriology and classification of bacteria. Following complete version of this video is available on YouTube. The science of microbiology is the study of microorganisms and their activities. It is concerned with their form, structure, physiology, metabolism, identification and reproduction. The microorganisms are classified as protista. The class includes all unicellular organisms which are characterized by their lack of different cellular arrangements as well as lack of differentiation of cells for specific metabolic functions. Just compare bacterial cell with animal cell then you will realize the difference. The microorganisms include in the kingdom protista are bacteria, algae, fungi and protozoa. The microorganisms classified as protosta may be further divided into prokaryotes and eukaryotes. The prokaryotic group contains microorganisms with a very simple cell structure. The cell is not bound by membrane and it does not contain certain well-defined cellular organelles like mitochondria, Golgi bodies, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. The genetic material lies as a single piece of double-stranded DNA in the cytoplasm. It is not organized into chromosomes inside a nuclear membrane. Cell contains simple enzyme systems. Prokaryotes multiply by simple dividing process known as binary fission and examples of prokaryotic group are bacteria. Then the eukaryotic group, it contains microorganisms with a complex cell structure similar to that of higher organisms. The genetic material of a eukaryotic cell is differentiated into chromosomes which are contained in a nuclear membrane to form a definite nucleus. The cell contains complex enzyme systems, mitochondria and other organelles. The cell is able to make its own energy and eukaryotes multiply by mitosis. Examples are protozoa, fungi, algae except blue-green algae. A very important thing here to note is viruses are also classed as microorganisms but they are different from all cellular forms of life. A viral particle consists of a nucleic acid molecule either DNA or RNA enclosed in a coat capsid made up of protein. The capsid protects the nucleic acid and it is replicated by host enzyme system and governs the formation of specific viral proteins. And prions are also included in the group of microorganisms and prions are infectious organisms composed of primarily of proteins. Prions are the class of number of diseases in a variety of mammals and examples of diseases caused by prions include bovine spongiform encephalopathy BSE known as also mad cow disease in cattle and Crucifield Jacob disease CGD disease in humans. All known prion diseases affect the structure of brain. Well, bacteriology is the scientific study of bacteria. 
and understanding of any group of organisms requires their classification and appropriate classification system provides a broad understanding of relationships among different organisms classification is based on experimental and observational techniques related to their genetic biochemical physiological and morphological properties it is done by taxonomy system and taxonomy means arrangement of things and in this case bacteria into specific groups following bacterial taxonomy ranks are based on linear taxonomy in biology kingdom is the taxonomic rank which is the highest rank and kingdoms are divided into division class order family tribe genus and species for example taxonomical position of typhoid bacillus is as follows kingdom prokaryote division protophyta class schizomycetes that means microscopic unicellular chlorophyll free and reproduction by asexual fission order eubacterials that means true bacteria family enterobacteria se tribe salmonella genus salmonella and species salmonella typhi now i will give you information on nomenclature of bacteria international name of microorganism consist of two words first word is the name of genus generic name and second word indicates the specific adjective or noun second word indicates some property of the species the generic name that means name of genus always begins with a capital letter and the specific second word begins with a small letter and the name of the microorganism is written in italics as indicated on the left hand side for example in the case of streptococcus pyogenes streptos meaning twisted and pyogenes meaning those organisms which cause pyogenic infections then in the case of corin bacterium diphtheria corin meaning club and diphtheria refers to the causative agent of diphtheria disease well today i considered these points of the first introductory lecture on microbiology now just say if you can answer following questions one define microbiology Two, in which class microorganisms are placed? Three, what are prokaryotic microorganisms? Give two examples. Four, what are eukaryotic microorganisms? Give two examples. Five, what are viruses? Six, what are prions? Seven. what is bacterial taxonomy and it give information on nomenclature of bacteria and just see if you can answer following mcqs and kindly refer to chapter 1 of our medical microbiology book or chapter 25 of our mnt book for more information next time i will talk to you regarding introduction of our one more important subject related to your syllabus till then take care i wish you a good day